This is Infertility Awareness Week across Canada, a chance to open up the conversation. And that's what we're going to do with fertility coach Crystal Lachenko from Fertility Blooms. Good morning. Hi, Annette. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> nice to see you again. First of all, yeah. explain to people what a fertility coach does. A fertility coach works with a couple or a person, a woman, um, to help them empower them on their journey. So we look at the person overall or the couple, couple overall, and we work on stress management, we work on diet, we work on what supplements, everything they need to help them empower them and choose different paths that they can take on their fertility journey to really help them improve their journey. Right, and, and it's become, infertility has become something that slowly, slowly more people are talking about. Yes, because of people like you, like you that helped me no, it's send you. the message. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really, really helps. Honestly, it does. So, yeah, it, it's, it's one in six couples in Canada right now that suffer with infertility. So it, it's like your neighbor, your sister. Like, there's so many people that are suffering with it, whether it's secondary infertility or miscarriages or whatnot. We all know somebody in our lives that have struggled. So it's really important it's issue and a lot of us feel so isolated and alone but when we find that there's such a community it's it's huge and it's empowering mm -hmm. and much of that community has had to move online as well right now now yeah. to kind of spark the conversation you're wearing a, a hoodie right now this kind yeah. of a line of inspirational sayings that really I mean they yes they could spark conversation with infertility but they could spark conversation with all kinds of things right yeah, especially now in COVID, right? Because <laughs> we all need hope. We, we, fertility, we call ourselves warriors. We're fertility warriors because we've gone through all the battles, the ups and downs, the roller coasters, and we keep fighting because it's one of those crazy things that you stand up and you get bad news and you just want to keep going because there's nothing more important to that person than to have a baby. So they keep fighting. Mm -hmm. So I love the love really your important. story as well. That Me message. Me too. And it's, that's important for everybody because everybody has a story, whether they're going through fertility or not, but it's important to like know, know your story and what's important to you and why. And from there, you can be really empowered and hopeful. Hope and hopeful is something that fertility warriors that's the one thing we have <laughs> down this bumpy road. That's the one thing we have <laughs> is right. hope. And, yeah. and, and just talking to each other and, and, and having somebody yeah. else be a sounding board, right? So the, the community that you've created then, uh, if, if someone is watching and is dealing with infertility right now and hasn't reached out, how can they, how can they get in touch with you? I have on my website, I think you'll put the links after, but mm -hmm. Fertility Blooms, I have um, free, a free session. They can click and pick a time to um, chat with me. I also run a support group once a month, the first Wednesday of the month. And we have like, I don't know how many people on the group now. It's, it's grown. We have Americans. We have uh, people from Vancouver, from Nova Scotia, all over the place right now joining us for those calls. And it's really um, nice to know that what you've gone through is something that other people have gone through also so you okay. don't feel so alone so they can right. sign Crystal, up we, and... I, I have to cut you off there but we will get that link up on our website chch.com great to see you again yes bye